Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're back from the vacation. And in this video, we're covering Starbucks stock. We're going to be looking through their financials, their shares of standing, their dividends, the overall summary of Starbucks stock, and then we're going to be throwing them into a valuation model to see if they're worth buying right now based on all these key metrics. Starting off, we all know Starbucks being basically the biggest coffee producer in the world and probably showing some high growth with the expansion they are doing in China and internationally. They are a very, very fast growing company and it begs us to ask the question if it's a good investment right now. If we just take a look at Starbucks over the past five years, it has looked like it has been on a steady trend upward. And in the last 10 years, it looks like it's in the middle of kind of a recovery from this dip. If you bought it right here, you'll be really good off right now and it has a PE of 32.79 but an EPS of 3.08 with a 2.1% dividend yield. Now let's jump into those key financials as you can see the earnings per share is growing and the stock price is going up but let's look at the key financials. Starting off with the revenue we could see on the track of the revenue if we just look at the 10 year charts for both the revenue has been steadily increasing for the past 10 years. If we just look at the 10 year CAGR of the revenue of 12.2% and even more recently the 3 year CAGR is 8% so the revenues are growing very fast which is an indicator of a good business. Now let's take a look at their margins and see if they have good operating margins and gross margins and their gross margins right now is sitting around 26% which is a very very high margin and if we just look at the last 10 years it has been a little bit steady maybe going down due to the increase of shops but overall good margins at around 30%. Now if we take a look at their free cash flow, my favorite metric, if we just look at the past 10 years for that annual free cash flow, we can see it has a CAGR of 15%, but it has been looking up and down, probably due to the expansion of all the shops they're buying, but the same store sales have been going up if you just take a deep dive, and their 5-year -year CAGR of 3%, but in the last couple of years they've actually been losing free cash flow, like I said again, building more stores. Now, if we take a look at their cash on hand and we compare that to the debt, we can see they have a lot of cash. They have approximately 3.4 billion in cash. And if we take a look at their debt, they have 20 billion in debt. So with how much free cash flow they're generating, it is probably possible to pay that off, but that's a little bit more debt than we like to see. Now let's take a look at their dividends. If we just look at their dividend history and we look at the last 10 years of dividends, they've had a 10 year CAGR of 17.5%, a 5 year CAGR of 8%, a 3 year CAGR of 9%, and a 1 year CAGR of 8% on those dividends, which is a very, very fast dividend grower company. So that is very, very good to see, and it's a pretty high dividend sitting at 2.1%. Now let's look at their shares outstanding and make sure they're not diluting the shareholder. If we just look at the past 10 years for that annual shares outstanding, it has been consistently going down, meaning they're rewarding the shareholder via dividends and via buybacks. So this company seems to have its metrics in line. Maybe the debt's a little high and the FCF's jumping around a little bit, but this company seems to have its stuff together and it seems like it's doing well. So now let's jump into the valuation of Starbucks. If we just take a look at Graham's valuation, the first valuation model, we plug in the ticker, we plug in their earnings per share, we plug in their projected growth rate, which I predict to be 20% with all that international growth, and we plug in the current yield on AAA corporate bonds, Graham giving an intrinsic value of $77 per share, a little bit on the lower side of this current share price, but as you can see in 2022, it was trading under that. Now let's take a look at the multiples valuation where we put some competitors like McDonald's, Chipotle, Domino's, and Papa John's. We plug in their earnings per share, it gives us our PE, gives us the median PE, and we multiply that by our earnings per share to get a stock price of $112 a share, representing a little bit of upside on that current share price. Next, let's look at the dividend discount model, where we take the dividends yearly, five years ago, four years ago, three years ago, two years ago, a year ago, and currently, giving us an average growth rate of 12.1%, but as you can see, it has been slowing down, and so I'm gonna project an average growth rate of about 6.5% here, rounding off the seven, but it, as you can see here, it is 6.5%, which gives us a DDM price of $112 per share, also representing a little bit of upside on that current share price. Next and last valuation model, we're going to be looking at the discounted cash flow model, taking their past cash flows, and because it's been jumping all over the place due to acquisitions and stores, it gives us an average growth rate of 363%. But if we take a look here and we look at their key financials and their free cash flow, their 10 year CAGR free cash flow is actually 15%. So we're going to plug that in here, which is 15%. And we're going to plug in the sum of the cash flows. We're going to plug in that growth rate. 
we're going to plug in that debt, that equity value, the shares outstanding to get us a DCF price of $85 per share. Now, if we have all these four models together, it gives us an intrinsic value of $97 a share, pretty close to that current share price. But if you want a 10% margin of safety on a high moat company like this, our acceptable buy price would be $87 per share. And if you wanted a 20% margin of safety, which some people do, your acceptable buy price would be all the way down at $78 per share. But Wall Street has a forecast of $113 per share. Thank you guys for watching that video. I'm back from vacation and I actually have a poll on community to see what you guys want to do for my 100 subscriber celebration, whether it be a Discord server, whether it be a portfolio reveal, or any other ideas. Go to that community post or just comment down below what you guys would like to see. Thank you for the support. I love you guys and I'll be back tomorrow.